Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in League of Legends for the Season 12. So we're going to start with some optimization in Windows. After that, we're going to look at the launcher and we will f uh, finalize with the in-game setting. So first of all, write game mode. And make sure that your game mode is at on for the past 8 months. Game mode is really good on Windows. They did a lot of update. So you're going to make sure that you want to prioritize all your resources to your game. So make sure this one is at on. X bar, Xbox game bar is still not good. So make sure this one is at off. I don't recommend to use also all those overlay, overwolf, discord overlay, etc, etc. Sometimes it's causing crash, stuttering, you're losing FPS. If you're currently using one of those and it's working well, don't remove them. But if you have issue, definitely do some testing. After that, capture, make sure that your background recording is at off and your recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, search that, uh, search graphic setting in your search and uh, activate this and restart your computer. To see this, you will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. Um, and it helps a lot with bottlenecks, so if you have like a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, 2060, you should see a, a nice like 2 to 5% boost in your FPS. If you have like a mid-range computer or IN, you will not see any difference with this. After that, for your graphic uh, drivers, make sure that you have the latest one. So Radeon, go on the website, NVIDIA, same thing. Even also if you're playing with an iGPU on your processor, for example, you're using an Intel processor, uh, go on the Intel website. They have dedicated driver for their uh, iGPU. Another thing that I want to mention, it's the energy plan. So right energy, go to power option. Make sure that you're running balance or high performance. Uh, if you're playing on a laptop, sometimes when you plug and unplug on the wall, uh, even when you're plugging the wall, it stay at power saver. So you're going to for sure lose performance with this so always make sure that you're running balance or high performance one more thing that i can say i have two dedicated guide on my youtube channel talking about how to overclock your gpu and your cpu it can help you three to three percent to fifteen percent it really depends on your component your thermals a lot of different variable but still you can definitely try one of those so now for the launcher, you have a couple of uh, optimization that you can do that will really help, first of all, with the launcher itself, but also with the game. So we're going to click on these settings here. The first thing that you will need to do is, in general, I recommend to click Enable Low Spec Mode. This will help you a lot with your client. So uh, if you're feeling that your client is laggy and stuff like that, check this one. Also, if you have an uh, issue with your launcher, with your game or whatever, uh, you can initiate a full repair if you want. This is pretty much the option here. Uh, if you don't want to uninstall and reinstall the whole game, this is pretty much how you can do it. After that, for notification, I recommend to disable eSport notification if you uh, feel that, your again, your launcher is very laggy. So this will help you a lot with the fluidity of your launcher. So this is pretty much it. Now we're going to go to interface. I also recommend to uncheck the enable ad animation. This will help a little bit. Um, and in the game option here, um, the, the, the DirectX 9, this is the legacy mode. So if you want to play with the old API from League of Legends, this is the way to go. So this is really good if you have like a very old computer. Um, you're going to for sure lose some effects, some visual that they add with the time. But you're going to make sure that you're running full performance mode. And uh, it really helps with old GPU that are not compatible with new stuff that coming in. And um, yeah, it, when I say old, I mean old, like 10 years, 9 years ago computer. So this will help you with that. So this is pretty much it. All the other options will not help you with your FPS. So now let's go inside of the game. Before going further in my video, I want to present the BenQ screen bar. It's a new screen bar that I've been using for the past two or three weeks on my laptop. And I really like it because a screen bar is a light that aims to optimize uh, your gaming setup. When I play on my laptop, I don't have any proper lighting and also I don't have uh, lights on my keyboard. It's not working anymore, so that's why I like to see my keyboard. It has a couple of features like auto-dimming. 
uh, space saving with the special clip that they provide you. It's glare free, it's USB power also, no batteries, and also uh, it has an adjustable color temperature and brightness on the product. The product is $109, I will put the link on my video description, and honestly, if, you have, if you're struggling with your lighting, this product is pretty amazing. So now inside of the game, let's go to option. I'm going to start with video. So first of all, the resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So if you have a 2K screen, go with 2K. If you have 1080p, go with 1080p, 720p, 720p. Don't lower your resolution and you will like decrease a lot your image quality. Just use your native one. For the window mode, very really important to use full screen. This is the way to uh, getting more FPS and also to make sure that your FPS are stable. I had like some weird issue with borderless, so that's why I'm using the full screen. Make sure that enable screen shake is unchecked. After that, character quality, this one you can definitely go with medium. Uh, very high to medium, you will have a nice 3% increase in your FPS. And medium to low, I saw 1% difference. And honestly, if you look at the character at medium, it looks very decent. I'm trying to, to give you a compromise between FPS and also a decent image quality. So it's pretty much the same thing with environment quality. If you go at very low, you will see that everything looks blurry. So very high to medium, you can expect a nice four percent boost in your FPS. And medium to very low, it's like one to two percent. I don't feel that it's worth it with all the stuff that I ask you to change. So medium is a good uh, compromise. Effect quality, go with very low. Uh, this will help you a lot when you're fighting. You have like magic spells and stuff like that, and you're getting like some weird drop in your FPS. So this one, this definitely go with very low. For shadow quality, uh, those one put this one at off. It will help you a lot. Very high to off. You can expect 10 to 12% boost in your FPS. This is the major setting that you really need to remove to, to getting the most of your FPS. I recommend also to uncheck character uh, inking. After that, for the frame rate. Frame rate, it really depends. Uh, I know a lot of people like to uncheck, uh, uncap their FPS. But you really need to make sure that you have proper thermal in your computer. Because sometimes I know a couple of my friends, they're, they're doing like 400, 450 FPS in League of Legends. But after like five or six minutes, they're getting like crazy thermal. And now they're getting stuttering, mini lag and stuff like that. So normally, just look at your uh, screen. For example, you have 144 Earth screen. You can definitely lock with your FPS. Or also, you can just put 200 if you want to put a little bit more to reduce a little bit your input lag. After that, anti-aliasing, I recommend to uncheck it. It will give you a nice 3% boost in your FPS. And as you can see, you don't see a lot of aliasing in this game. And for the vertical sync, I'm not using it. Uh, I have a free sync monitor, so if you have a free sync monitor or a G sync monitor, it's not an issue. Um, if you don't have that, and when you're moving, you're getting crazy amount of tearing, you can definitely check this uh, to remove that. It will uh, add a little bit more of input lag, so it really depends what you want. Do you care about tearing or you care about your input lag? So this is pretty much the settings. So this is pretty much my guide, guys. If you have any question, just come in in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.